Hi guys, welcome to part five of the Passion Flower, Passion Flower Cabinet. Welcome, welcome. This is part five and I almost forgot a detail that I added. Let's see if I can show you. Do you see the, the script down on the corner? And there's some up in the other corner right there. Um, I want to add that, but since this is so textured, um, that is a, it's a stencil. So I found some rubber stamps that I'm going to use. Um, and I get, I get most of my stamps and transfers and um, stencils from Iron Orchid Design and uh, Redesigned by Prima. Prima Redesign. I say that backwards. Anyway, I'm going to put some birds on here. Here's a dragonfly. Um, here's a little bee. And I also did find a little, a little thing of words. I don't know why I like just adding the words, adding some words. So that's what we're going to do first. And if they get covered up, I can always add them back in later. But I'm going to do them in black. And so let's see. Let's do, we'll just add some birds in first. I gotta go get my, my water because I'm gonna dump in the water right away when I'm done. Okay, so a lot of people use a roller. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, but I think it's too much. They roll on the stamp itself and then stamp it. I will paint a very thin coat of black or whatever color I want to use in a plate and then I just put it in there and then I stamp it on. So let me get the right angle here. And when you do this, of course, um, be careful so your fingertips don't um, get on there. So I'm just going to look where the flowers are not going to be. So I'm going to maybe add this guy right up in here. Get his beak on there. He's barely going to show up, I see. So I'm going to really have to smash him on. There we go. That's good. Okay. Oops, now I gotta move it there. All right, I, just a hint of a bird, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be fully painted on. Um, how about, cause there's gonna be some flying also. How about right here? We're gonna be adding vines in too guys, so that's the other part of today. So we'll just add a couple of him and let's get a flying one. I really like this flying one. He's pretty cool. I think I want him way up above. Can you see him? We'll just put him right there. Smash it in. And his head didn't turn out, so there. Okay. Let's do him again. Get some more on him. And maybe he's flying. Just pressing in on it. And it's okay, I know it's textured. It's all right. So we got two of him. Let's get the other guy. Um, this is a barn swallow, actually. And 
let's see. We can put him up there too, like he's swooping in. kind of gives, even though it's not a solid stamp, it gives it more interest and you probably be able to see it. You can tell what they are when you stand back. What do I want to do him again? Um, let's see. Not a lot of room for flying birds. All right, let's get the, let's do some script. Do some lettering. This is French script. This will be kind of cool even if it breaks up. Like we can go like right in here. Just partially see it. You see it up there? Yeah. That's, I kind of like that. Now, I have a little bit of OCD, but um, I'm okay with it not completely coming out. So, it's okay. Let's put some up here in this corner. good for that one. And I think I have the dragonfly and the bee left. Yep. Let's get the little bee guy going here. I don't even know if he'll, he's going to turn out. He's so tiny. So let's find out. We could put him right there. Oh, I smeared him. Let's put him over here. <laughs> right there. Right there. Maybe he looks like an ant. I don't know. All right, now well, let's do the dragonfly. Oop, got my plate. It finally quit raining. Boy, I tell you, it was really coming down. It was a full on thunderstorm going on. Let's put him here. And then a couple more times, and then we'll get started on the vines. I'm just gonna do the front on the vines, and then um, you guys can take over from there, and uh, I will pause. I'm gonna go do the sides then. <sighs> Looks like we're getting kind of full. Let's put another one here. All right, so those soak and that I don't need. All right, so we're gonna get started on the vines. And all I'm gonna do right now is put my, where did that go? Hmm, I might have left that inside. I might have left that inside. I wonder what this will work. Uh, well, you know what? I'm just gonna go with it. I'll, let's see, let's go with this brush. All right, so I'm just gonna use the green. I'm just gonna use the green for now. This dark, it's called Mary by Stella's Chalk Paint. I'm just gonna outline the the vines, just like I did the outline of the everything else. So 
I'm going to come down. I'm just going to start. Maybe we're going to go with black so I can see it. I think I'm going to have to. All right, let's use this up. Okay. So we're just going to start down here. And we're going to go... You know how a, a vine will kind of in a figure eight around. I want to come up here and down and out. All right, well, I'm just gonna keep adding vines. And this one's gonna come up in front and then around. It's going behind that one. And then I want him to come up and go here. Okay. And he branched off from there, so let's put you Let's bring one here. And he's just gonna tie in there. We'll have some coming off that side too, but we have to have a lot coming here. up, even just hints of the vine, like this, and we're going to go here. some leaves I put a leaf right over that bird, but it's okay. And that leaf's gonna come over there. Let's see. Here's that's where the flower is. Um
Here's a spot. Just getting the shapes on there of the leaves. I think I'm okay with the vines. I think I'm done. Let's see. Let's put one here. We need one here. Just kind of look for your empty spaces you want to fill. Let's put one here. And then there's over here a spot. See, a lot of this is that flower is going to cover it up, so that's going to go back in there. Right here, I think we can put one. And you can always add more later. Let's turn that bug into a leaf. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab that green and mix. All right. So I'm just going to mix some black in with that green and let's go ahead and make those vines a little bit more prominent. Follow them all the way. And get that green color on there. Let's do the leaves. This is kind of a menagerie because until I get that flower on there, it almost looks like a crossroads of 
everything coming into play right there. So what I'm doing with these leaves is actually, I'm just, and the vines, I'm actually, let's see if we can find one. Um, like right here, okay, so the, the sun is coming down, so just like this part is gonna be a lighter, so I'm gonna leave that, leave a lot of that black in there. And the same with this leaf, I'm only gonna go on one side. And you don't have to paint the whole thing and keep going over things and, you know. You know, you know. There's going to be a lot of green added, so different colors. Um, we're just going to layer these greens a lot. I'm not painting them fully in either. If you notice, I'm just, you know, I'm just lightly brushing them. Okay, where else are we here? Let's see. Right there, some. Don't get upset you may forget a vine or a leaf and that's okay you can always come back later and get it No, looks like we're about done. So I can go to the next shade. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add some um, Molly's Gardening next. This is gonna give us more of our green. Now this is DIY, Monet's Garden. Okay, just keep layering and layering and layering. We will come back, we're gonna try and come back with the palette knife and do the highlights like we did on the, the arbor. So we can give the leaves a little bit of texture. And it'll all come together once you get all these colors on. I'm just brushing and brushing, so. I just keep adding colors and layers. 
because that's what it's mostly about. Here, there's some. I want to make sure that I get each color on each spot. So, this one comes up. Get this color on and then let's see we go to the the bright light color not mint chimp I should actually be late I should actually use mint chip but it's very I might use mint chip instead of white there we go let me get that out oh uh, I don't know where it is all right so I'm gonna follow my vines and make sure that I got them all that I wanted to get here Do okay. I think I did. All right, so that's done. Oops. Now I'm gonna go. Let's see. Do I want? I gotta find my mint chip. Where did I put this? There it is. We'll use this too, but um, I'm going to use this. This is um, Murphy by Stella's Chalk Paint. It almost gives the same effect as Mint Chip, actually. It's very light colored. So I'm going to hit my leaves first. That was a leaf that I missed. See, I told you, you'll miss them, but I always come back and get them. So I'm just looking and I'm just trying to tap it onto the lighter side of that vine where the sun is going to be hitting it. given more depth I hope I 
And if you think you got too much there, you can just rub it in. down now. these down here. This is what keeps giving you depth, is when you keep adding your colors and keep adding your layers. Okay, I gotta get this one. All right, now I'm gonna go, now I gotta go after the, le or the vines itself. Looking crazy looking. Well, you know, vines are crazy. They go all over. Sometimes it's hard to follow because you don't know where your things are at. Okay, I'm gonna try and there's some up there that I didn't get. Okay, see there. And it's kinda like that little sprite swipe in there. All right, now I think I'm gonna add mint chip. And then I'll get the palette knife out 
and we'll add the dark, the white, and the, oh. I think that'd be hard to open, but I already used it once. Now remember when I told you guys all you had to do was with this DIY paint, if it dried out, I added water to it, and look, it's back to normal consistency. Awesome. Okay, let's start down here. It's, it is slightly lighter than the color that I just used. So it does add a little bit more, another dimension, let's just say that. It just adds another dimension, so. It's gonna be crazy tonight because of graduation. I remember mine. I stayed out all night. Yeah, I really like this mint chip on top of that that Murphy, or if that's what it was, on the Stellas. Look at this. So look at that dimension it's giving these leaves. I love it. It's more and more color. I'm not painting in solid. I'm just kind of bouncing the brush along. You know? I'm kind of letting the that texture in there grab the brush and let it pull it off of there. I don't want that looking like a centipede, so I did smooth that out a bit. This is what you do. You layer and layer, and you grab another color, and you layer and layer. It's just like um, painting portraits. Uh, oh, that's a flower. Um, don't worry about that, because I will cover that up. Your values, you use different values, and you layer and layer and you use different, another color, and you use different values, and you layer and layer, and that's what gives you depth, so much depth on your paintings. chip I think okay I think we're done with the mint chip all right so I'm gonna put this brush away And grab the palette knife. 
right now. And, and then I'm going to do the, let's give it some dark, let's give it some highlights and dark lights. That <laughs> I just made that up, I don't even know if that's true. So I'm using my that old dark green and some black, just like we did on the um, the arbor. So we're just gonna come in and give it some texture and some on that dark side. It does not have to be perfect. I keep thinking that's a, a vine and it's a flower. This goes faster, I think, with the palette knife. And I really hope you guys are seeing this. Just keep in mind that this is, and you want it to look like the image. If you can stand back and tell what it is, you did amazing. And that is your goal. on a roll and I stop and look and then I get off the roll. Alright, here we go again. Just try and keep to that one side that's going to be dark. And you can overlap. I just went over a little bit of that mint chip and that gives it more dimension. I'm going to, right there. I think we're almost done with this color already. Let's add some there. That gave it some texture. Oh, we gotta go over here. All right, now we're ready for the white. Now we're ready for the white, I believe. And that is when it's really gonna pop, so. All right, I think I, all right. I think I'm done with that. Okay, hold on, guys, look at the hiccup. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hiccups, I need to get a drink of water. Okay, so I just looked at it from back there, and it looks pretty good. So I'm I'm pleased how it's going. All right, now for the white. Ah, oh, tickle my nose. I'm just 
okay? That's all I'm doing with any of this. And you're just tapping the back of that knife. I'm just tapping it. Um, you can rub it if you want, but I'm just, I'm gonna follow those vines down. on that leaf. This is the process throughout this whole thing here, guys. Um, painting in layers and then coming back with the palette knife and giving them that, that chunky, chunky texture along with the texture that's already there, so. I hope I'm not covering up what I'm doing. So you guys can't see that. All right, now I'm gonna work down. Okay, see that leaf right there? need much. I got a little bunch, but I'm, I'm okay with it. I can always come back with a dark color and come over that just a little bit. It's okay. So when we're done, when you're done here, you're gonna have to let it set up because there's a lot of paint sitting on, on there, so. Trying to follow it down. There's a leaf, a vine. Now I'll bring the camera back when we're done here with the white and show you how much depth we've got going on here. Let's see. Oh, we got that vine down there. Okay, so I think
think I have all my white on there that I want. So I'm gonna go back over and catch some of these that I kind of went crazy on. And I think I'll just add this. Well, I'll add this. You know what? I need yellow. Let's just add some yellow in there. Because I have really good the yellow. There we go. On those leaves. That gives it even a little bit more. Felt that they were missing something. And you can take this on the vines too. I still have to go over some of these because I'm getting a little crazy. If you want to add it to the vine, I don't know that I'm. it's necessary. It's totally up to you guys. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna brush over it real fast and give it some here and there. I want to, I do want to add some more of that green back, so I think, let's see, I think I will use this brighter green, this Murphy, and come back in and add it to some of these leaves that kind of got lost. Now you don't, you don't really want the leaves to stand out a lot because your main focus is going to be those flowers when you get them on there. So, you know, if you feel that you're, you're done with the leaves, then call it, just call it quits if you want, because it's totally up to you. It's your piece, you know, so you don't, you want it, you do it your way. But I'm just helping you get some 
things, techniques, learning some techniques and stuff like that. And talking you through some things and this guy is just driving me insane. There and there. All right, now, okay, we're gonna stop with the leaves. I see one. This happens. Maybe I better bring some green back in here. That was just a bit much. All right, and I might have some drippies in there, but I don't care. I don't like it. All right, so I'm gonna take the phone back and move the light back and take you guys back a ways so you can see it. Hopefully it doesn't, I'm not making you dizzy. So anyway, there. Okay. So that's tonight's uh, tutorial. Yeah, you can see it really going. Cool. Um, so I'm gonna do the sides tonight and then I'm gonna call it quits. And then tomorrow we will probably start working on the flowers. So there you go guys, God bless, see you later.